Hello and welcome Virgo. I am Pisces Intuition here through weekly reading. All right, Virgo, let's see what is going on. And what is it that Virgo needs to know? All right, Virgo, keep in mind this is a general reading, so not everything is going to resonate with your situation, and that's okay. Just take what does and leave the rest behind. Oh, okay, so somebody's in their feelings. None of those were flipped. It was just a pile of cards. All right, Virgo, we have the Queen of Cups. We have the Ace of Swords, the Hanged Man. We have the Two of Swords. Bottom of the deck, we have Six of Swords. All right. Hmm. Okay. Virgo, it feels like you're waiting for somebody to bring in some kind of... Um, I almost want to say apology. I was going to say communication, but apology, like, wanted to come out. <laughs> um, so you could be waiting on an apology, or like I said, you could just be waiting on someone to bring in some kind of communication here. Um, it does feel like once they bring in communication, it does really kind of put you in your feelings. Um, you could be dealing with a water sign, could be dealing with an air sign. Yeah, because you have, like, water, and then you have air. Yeah, um, it definitely puts you in, oh, I keep getting, it feels like it puts you in like a tough spot, um, especially with the two of swords, it's like having to really figure something out, it's having to, um, you know, make a decision, like what is it that you want to do? With the hanged man, like I said, it just feels like you're kind of waiting on some communication. I don't know if this communication is going to help you make up your mind, because it's almost like if you don't get this communication... Uh, you're just, you're going to move forward. You're going to be moving on. So it's almost like you're asking yourself, should you stay put or should you just move on? Hmm. But with this hanged man, you know, this person is holding the key in the hand. See the locks around the feet and then the hands but they have the key in their hands so they can unlock themselves at any time. So it feels like intuitively speaking, you already know the answer. You already know what you should do, but it's almost like you're just waiting for some kind of confirmation. Like I said, it really kind of feels like you're waiting for um, some kind of communication here. Hmm. Yeah, and it's like once you get that communication, it's like how do you respond back? I keep seeing you kind of like, so maybe somebody has already reached out and you're just figuring out how to reply, how to respond. With the Queen of Cups, we have the Queen of Pentacles here. We have the Strength card and we have the Knight of Cups. So this could be somebody, you know, offering you, um, you know, how they feel, offering you their feelings, offering you like, you know, do you want to go out on a date? Do you want to grab some coffee? Like, can we just talk? Um, this could be someone just kind of expressing their feelings towards you. Like I said, it does feel like you're kind of a very independent energy here, kind of doing your own thing. Um, I don't know if you're quite ready for this relationship. Maybe that's what the holdup is. Maybe that's what you're having to decide is if you want to go forward to a relationship or if you just want to continue to kind of do your own thing. Because for a lot of you, I keep thinking that you are just kind of doing your own thing. Um, but it's like, you you know, you have, um, you've been flirting with somebody or something. It's like this person is going to reach out and let you know, like, hey, you know, I'm really digging this vibe. I'm digging you, like, Virgo, can we, you know, can we make something happen here? So, again, it's, that ball's in your court. All right, clarifying the Ace of Swords, we have the Moon card, we have the Eight of Wands, and we have the Page of Pentacles. So again, I keep getting that somebody is coming in with some kind of offer. Um, for some of you, this is like an apology. Um, with the Eight of Wands, again, definitely expressing communication. Again, coming in quickly. I keep getting like a lightning bolt with the Ace of Swords and then with this Eight of Wands. So communication seems to be coming in pretty quickly. With the moon card, um, it definitely feels like it's clearing up some communic or not communication. Uh, yeah, it's bringing the communication, but it feels like it's clearing up some kind of confusion here. Hmm. All right, clarifying the hangman, please. 
We have the Five of Pentacles, we have the Three of Cups, and we have the Eight of Cups. Okay, so yeah. So it definitely kind of feels like you are with you are apart from this person. So again, for some of you, this is just kind of flirting with someone, you know, um, whatever that case is. For others of you, this is someone that you were recently with. And then it's like, you know, um, something came between you guys and it's like you're taking a break from each other. But somebody here wants to reconcile, and I'm getting it's more on their part than it is on yours. Because it kind of feels like you don't know what you want, Virgo. You don't know if you want to take this person back or if you're happier doing your own thing. Because from the get-go, it kept feeling like, you know, you're trying to figure out, like, do you want to stay or do you want to go? But you definitely have the answer. You definitely know what you want. See how this guy, I mean, he's just kind of, you know, going towards seeing what else is out there. And that's how it kind of feels for you guys. Like, you don't know. Like I said, it feels like you're just kind of wondering what else is out there. Like, you know, it feels like you're kind of happy doing your own thing. So it's like, do you want to go back to this relationship? And that's why we have the Two of Swords. Yeah, Four of Swords here. The Hermit card. So there you are, Virgo. And then the Nine of Cups. So yeah, so it really kind of feels like once you pulled your energy back, once you got separated from this person, it feels like that kind of led you to your own happiness towards, you know, some kind of wish fulfillment. It's like you started that healing process and you, you're just, you're pretty happy. You're sitting pretty. So now that this person has reached out, it's kind of put you in your head a little bit. Like, you know, well, I do love this person. We had some good times, but, you know, can we really make it work? And do I really want to make it work? Because like I said, it just feels like you're feeling pretty good doing your own thing here. All right. So, yeah. So we have the three of swords clarifying the six of swords. We also have the Five of Cups and the Ace of Wands. So, yeah. So, it feels like this person broke your heart. There could have possibly been a third-party situation. Um, for some of you, you could have been married to this person or maybe this person was married at the time, um, you know, unknowingly or knowingly to you. You know, take it how it resonates. Um, but it does feel like, you know, somebody, again, could have already been in a relationship, um, possibly married, you know, whatever. And it's like you've got this connection. But, you know, timing was off. You know, again, it's going to resonate differently for everybody, and that's okay. Um, but, you know, in other words, what I'm saying is there was, it does feel like there could have possibly been like a third-party situation, but definitely some heartbreak. This person broke your heart, really left you, you know, kind of sad, just mourning the loss, you know, like what's going to happen here, you know. But then we have that Ace of Wands, and, you know, as I always point out in this card, even those those three cups are knocked over, spilled out. There are still two cups that this person is not acknowledging. So there's still, like I said, a new beginning, a new opportunity coming your way. Um, it just feels like something is not over. Whether you choose to take this person back or not, of course, is completely up to you. But it does feel like you know they've e either recently reached out with communication, or they're gonna. Blah, I can't talk. Or they're going to be reaching out with communication because it feels like this person wants a new beginning. But it's just like Virgo for you. It's up in the air. All right. Let's get some. Uh, yeah. All right. So we have some Enchanted Map Oracle. And this is a golden plat. Why can I talk today? Oh, my God. Okay, so this is a golden palace. So um, card number 23, 23 goes down to a five. Five is talking about some kind of obstacle, but also talking about change. With a golden palace, this is really talking about that wish fulfillment. Again, your own happiness, which is like the key focus in this reading for you, Virgo. Um, it feels like this is what you're really focused on. This is really what you want is your own happiness, your own wish fulfillment. That's your main goal. And it's like you found that on your own without this person. And so now that this person is coming back, bringing in communication, you don't know if you want it anymore. You don't know if this situation is for you anymore. All right, let's take some angel answers. Any messages for Virgo, please? What do we have for Virgo? All right, spirit, thank you. Perfect timing. Okay, so for some reason, this is perfect timing. So, um, like I said, 
at that time, timing was off because it felt like somebody was in a relationship. It could have been you. It could have been them. But it does feel like there's a bit of like a third party situation. Um, like I said, possibly involving a marriage or something. Um, but it just feels like timing was off. So whether you want this person to come back or not, again, that's up to you. Um, but it does feel like it's perfect timing for those of you who do want this person. Um, yeah, it just feels like, you know, they could have possibly put that relationship behind or, you know, something happened within that relationship, within that marriage, you know, whatever the case, but it does feel like somebody is single. Somebody is just kind of doing their own thing. Like I said, especially going back to that hermit card. Um, yeah. So maybe it's both of you that are just single kind of doing your thing. And so for some of you, you're like, yes, this is perfect timing. I want this person. Let's go forward. Let's see where it goes. Let's see where it can lead. For others of you, you're like, oh, I'm still kind of happy just doing my own thing. So again, take it how it resonates. But either way, this is all about your wish fulfillment, your happiness, and your goals, Virgo. All right. Messages for Virgo, please. Okay. And this has been coming out, like, for everybody almost. Love yourself as much as you want your soulmate to love you. So, again, talking about that, you know, self-love. Um bottom of the deck the reason it hurts so much to separate is because our souls are connected okay um top let things come and go stay calm don't let anything disturb your peace and carry on all right so again this is kind of trusting your own gut instincts you know what is it that you want here virgo um you know is this person going to make you happy is this something you want to you know pursue or you know because you know it's just it's something that's meant to be for you for others of you, this is just like, no, this is my journey to find myself. This is my journey to love and appreciate myself. So I don't want this right now. All right. So Virgo, let's get some uh, Law of Attraction cards here. Okay, we have a card about timing. So nature's timing. Things need to occur in proper order. When the time is right, don't try to control situation. Okay, so again, we have some cards here talking about timing. And that was kind of the first um, thing that, you know, led me to say, like, well, not those cards. But, you know, just that feeling of something was kind of off. Something was not the right time. So, yeah, so it feels like right now it could be the perfect timing for those of you who have been waiting for this person, waiting on communication. Okay, we have one more. The other, so an admirer from afar, a fork in the road, option interested another or other man and woman. Okay, so again, you know, this is talking about somebody could have been in a relationship, but this is an admirer from afar. So maybe you don't even, you know, you feel connected to this person. I was going to say, maybe you don't know this person's admiring, but no, I feel like you feel connected to this person. Maybe it just hasn't been spoken out loud because like I said, um, somebody was already in a relationship here. Um, but it does feel like I said, somebody is reaching out with communication and that's what leads to that fork in the road. That's what leads to that two of swords of having to make, you know, a decision here. So, all right. So we shall see where that goes. Again, that ball is in your court. Um, but it does feel like I said, communication is coming out about a very strong bond here. Um, you know, chemistry, like I said, Ace of Wands here, new opportunity, that big old wand coming your way. So, all right, Virgo, that is what I have for you. And until next time, thank you so very much for watching and take care.